Hello, welcome to this review of Coila. Coila. 12 year old single malt scotch whiskey from, from Scotland, Scotland, believe it or not. So, uh, from Ely Island. This is from the Ely region, which usually means that it's going to be peaty and mossy. They're saying it's a lighter version, though. That's what it says. I was reading the bottle before it came out here. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and Give a little sway to this and see what this is about. I've never had it. I have. Half of it. Yeah, well. Okay. So that's pretty much all you need, Jay. It's just a little about an ounce on some ice. And Port of Skag, Isle of Ely, Scotland, the Kingdom of Scotland. Okay. I've had a lot of scotch now. So we're going to go ahead and drink this in the fashion that I find correct, which is a cube of ice and right about a shot to maybe a shot and a quarter. Yeah. Now, you know me, I'm more of a straight neat guy. I don't know why, but this is also considered to be neat. No, it's... Well, what the ice cube is going to do, it's going to bring out flavors and notes that you wouldn't normally have if you drink it straight. So if you're looking to taste it and get the most out of it, then you do want to put a slur of ice in it. All right. That's just different strokes for different folks. Look it up. I'm getting a little wax that I get with some of these whiskeys. It's like a wax. And there's smoke and peat. I guess the wax comes from the peat. Okay. Now the appearance is like yellow. Now the, the ice is starting to fleck off or... Uh, melt into the uh, light appearance that greenish yellow you notice a lot of scotch would be like greenish yellow mm -hmm. smoke peat smoke pork <clears throat> let's go ahead and taste it <sighs> yeah sip it like you would dead whiskey that bourbon that you drink What do you think? I don't understand what you It's a little bigger. It's a little bigger than Kentucky. I'm not too sure about that because I did the taste challenge this morning with Stedman Select, and that is pretty, like, um, what you'd say, body forward. And this one is very smoky. You're drinking this like it's water. I've this been, is scotch. Why? You're drinking it like it's water. Don't. All right, anyway. Um, I've been accused of being many things, but refined is not one of those. Um, anyway, Jay is drinking this down pretty darn quick. Which, for tasting, is a little... <laughs> There's a minute. Yeah, well, you add the ice cube, so it made it like... like it's almost like a like okay. a methylated. Yeah, I was gonna say like menthol aftertaste. But we got this with that eighteen year bottle I got too. Same methylatedness. Yeah, and I think oh the one at the hot rod shop. I think this one is even more minty, more methylated. Hmm. I don't know. It's like drinking cools. It is kind of like a menthol cigarette. So. I mean, that sounds strange to say, but it, it's kind of like drinking menthol. I'm walking behind somebody at the Walmart parking lot, and they're smoking, and I'm like, but um, something's telling me this is a little higher quality than Cools. Yeah, just a little bit. I don't know if I'd rather fight than switch, but... Um, I like the depth of how they there's the wax, <clears throat> there's a peat, and then it's just like there's like a little tunnel of flavors like the smoke, the menthol. Yeah. yeah. And like, it stays there for a while. You don't just drink it and it goes completely away. It kind of stays on your palate a little bit. This is not a quick drop. No, it's 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 it feels like it gets into your sinuses a little bit. It kind of like elevates out and it goes back down. But you seem to be uh you seem to be handling it quite okay. I'm handling it, but there's, there's almost... No, I, I did not say. I did give you more, though. 
Now, and you're almost finished. I better not say I was going to comment how I did. I was going to talk about how it had almost like a fix. Chug, sip. Chug, sip. Enjoy. Kind of enjoy. No, um. <laughs> Greeting. <laughs> not. not. <laughs> no, it kind of has, uh, I was going to say, it, it has some characteristics of, and this is going to sound terrible, like, like almost like a heresy, an atrocity for me to say it. But it's like if I was congested, I could take some of this and rub it on my chest and on my neck in here. And it, it would help me breathe because it's like Vicks. Now, I don't know if Vicks is what they're shooting for, but you, you see what I mean. You see what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Oh, what happened? Um, you, as you can see, kids, Jay did not enjoy it at all. Not one bit. No, I, I think it's, uh, you know, this company, they're going to put on their website, here's all our liquor, blah, 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 blah. They say, now, if you really want to step up the game, in other words, pay out, then you can go to the malts. The, uh, there's a single malt. It's a single malt. Yeah, there's a website, Classic Malts. That's what they call it, Classic Malts. And they'll give you all the rundown. And, you know, you're going to pay more, but you're going to get more, so. Yeah. I feel like we get more of this than, say, an American whiskey. Well, I mean, let's not compare it to American. Let's talk about scotch in general. like Because when you start crossing over those lines too much, it gets things get confused, and it's hard to compare. So, um. Uh, um, you were saying, oh, you're not going to like it. It's going to be too intense or whatever. No, 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 no. I like it a lot. Um, mm, indeed. I could take care of it. <laughs> okay. I can take care of it. No, no, it's, uh, it's all right. It's a, uh, uh, not world class, no. But it's very good, very enjoyable. Coila. Isn't Coila a state in Mexico? I think I went to uh, Piedras Negras in Coila. So, um. I do want to try one more little tiny, tiny little bitty, tiny bitty experiment, if you don't mind. Oh, this. It won't take long. Be very quick. What do you want to do? Watch. What do you mean, watch? Just tell me. It requires a yes or a no. I was going to pour some heat. Uh, greedy. Go ahead. Yeah, if I'm allowed. Greedy. Go ahead. I don't know why. All right. Stop. Son. You All just right. gave yourself a second drink, not a tiny taste. No, that's a child's that's a place. second drink. I don't, I don't, I don't, this comes from the same person that told me I can't do another beer because I ain't got to drive home. Beer. Beer? Yeah, you know, this you drink a lot, and this is like a little, all right, um, yeah, hey, you know what, it's more muted without the ice. I better put this away, kids, I won't have any for left for later. I wasn't going to drink anymore, so that's just all for, uh, for uh, you know, show, whatever. Nice. Classy. So, all right. I'm not being greedy. Go ahead. Nice little alcohol eggs, I notice. Kind of thick. Okay. Did you slow down? Jesus, you drink fast. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you think? Oh yeah. So. Oh yeah, what? I think there's a lot more peppery note in the in the flavor without the ice. You get a lot more like a black pepper. So. Oh. You still get that kind of strong waxy thing, the uh, peaty, uh, if you want to say compost. There is a water flavor that comes into play with it. <laughs> This is the 18. Oh, what brand is that? Oh, I don't know. It's up there somewhere. 
Um, <clears throat> Ooh, that's strong. <laughs> <laughs> look at all the alcohol legs inside of your glass. Yeah. They look way up at the top, going all the way down. But this is 80 proof, right? 80, yeah. No. This is 86. Oh, wow. No wonder. This is 80. Oh, the 18 okay. is 80. Okay, all right. So, yeah, this is mighty fine. Um, I think Diageo knew what they were doing. They just went around and said, we're buying that, we're buying that, we're buying that. Just gobble it up, you know. Diageo. Yeah, it's a Diageo brand. If you look on there, it says Diageo. Same people that own Guinness beer. Oh. And a lot of other things. Well, there's one lot. more. One more Scotch whiskey I want to get, but it's going to be probably mid-November before I pick it up. Now, they make some really good blended Scotch whiskeys like the Buchanan's. We were looking at that, remember, at the store? Yeah, but that was quite pricey for a blend. Yeah, they got a lot of expensive blended Scotch whiskeys. Yeah. Like, it's usually they'll, they'll cut the blends because what we were talking about a couple of weeks ago. No, we you were talking about pretty expensive ones. Sometimes the Scotch whiskeys have more of a, they're too smoky or too peaty or too this. So it'll blend them to kind of even it out. That's a big argument. They've got your blend people and your single malt people, and they don't like each other, and they go back and forth. And um, I'm not trying to be argumentative about this. No. This is a conversation you and I I understand. But. You don't remember? Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, and you were saying that the reason why they blend is because the single malts might be too powerful. And yeah, to right. That guy James Buchanan decided so, that it would, it would mellow yeah. them out and make it more appealing to yeah. the mass market. Right. That's why Scotch got so popular. Yeah, and we have a blended one up there, which is the bargain, bargain whiskey. Oh. No scotch, but it's it's still good. It's it's Scotch. Yeah, and for the price, it's like incredibly good when you consider what you paid for it, right? I mean, it's, yeah, it's like about 10 bucks or something. Eight ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, to tax those 10 bucks. For a liter. I'm still paying. I don't know where he gets these eight ninety nine, seven ninety nines. I'm paying tax, and I'm telling you, it never ends at a dollar amount and 99 cents. I'm always at a dollar amount and some change. Yeah, except for today. I still have to buy the tax. Except for today, when I went there, and remember my check was it exactly 12, 12. Down. Twelve dollars. You bought something. That, you bought something that was a dollar less than the tag said. Ten ninety nine. It was ten ninety nine plus tax. Came out to twelve bucks. Yeah, and then mine was eleven ninety nine. Came out to it came thirteen. Thirteen oh nine. Yeah. So. Oh I well, uh, I think this is really good. You know, I mean, it's you're paying a lot. You're getting a lot. I mean, there's not much more to say. It's a dynamite product. Would now, you, would you buy it? Would I buy it? Oh yeah, possibly. Wow. First time ever, kids. Jay's going to spend money. On whiskey. I've spent a lot of money on whiskey, in fact. Well, okay, let me, let me refine Multiple that. bottles, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Every, everyone likes to get a lot for nothing, but this is a lot for nothing. You know what I mean? Like, it's more concentrated... Everything's thrown together in that one bottle, and you're not you're not gonna 